Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to low pass filter effect to your voice audio on Audacity. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Audacity application, which of course you've done right here. Now you can get this Audacity application on Google and you can use any browser of your choice. Head over to the search bar, type Audacity. Once you do that, it's going to take you to the official website right there. Follow through with the on-screen instructions and prompt, download, install and once you're done with the installation process it's going to take you to this fantastic home page where you can now explore a lot of features to have a great time on audacity now let's hop into today's text stream it's simple how to low pass filter effect to your voice audio on audacity okay so the first thing i'd like you to do is for us to create a voice audio now head over to the top left corner of your screen you're gonna see this recording symbol all right that's this red circle that symbolizes recording so click on that and now let's go hello this is basic value channel and just like the name implies we're bringing value to you in its simplest form all you need to do is to sit back for the tutorial from top to bottom and you'll be good to go i'll click on pop stop now as i click on stop we now have a voice audio so i can now click or i can now apply this low pass feature effect to this so some persons would like to apply the low pass effect to all the audio like every part of the audio but me i just like to select a segment to add my filter or to add my effect or to add my presets so if you want to apply to all of them all you need to do is to head over to the audio and then double click and once you double click you're gonna see that it's selected so now that it's all white you can now select what you're working as i apply the filter or the effect but i don't want that i just want the segment to have this feature so all i have to do is to left click all right my mouse and then once i left click i'm going to see the slider so i'm now going to be able to click on the slider all right using my mouse and then drag it and drop to where i want it to be so i just want this segment to have the low pass filter so how do i get a low pass filter head over to the top corner you're gonna see um file edit select and all these things so just click on the effect so once you click on effect you can see an extended menu right here so head over to filters all right volume and compression feeding and all this so head over to filters EQ and filter so you're going to see an extended menu as well bass and treble filter curve and other things high pass low pass so go ahead and click on low pass and once you click on low pass you can now select the frequency um uh, the, uh, the the amount of frequency that you want for the low pass frequency how high or how low do you want the low pass frequency to be that's what this is about so go ahead and change it to whatever you want let's say i want to be fifteen thousand. then that's fine so i'm just going to quickly run you through the essence of this low pass filter so a low pass filter also known as a high cut filter is a type of audio filter that is used to remove high frequency sounds from an audio signal okay so it is it is called low pass filter because it allows low frequency signals to pass through while attenuating or reducing the amplitude of the higher frequency signals all right so the low pass filter it allows the low frequency signals to be increased while suppressing the high frequency signals okay so here in the frequency like how much do you want this low pass or this low frequency signal to be in the video or in the audio sorry in the audio so this is fifteen thousand, and then this is roll off by octaves so let's just leave it there now head over to preview to hear how it sounds oh it's too okay so it's too high for track sample rate okay so let's okay so let's just let's just leave it at ten thousand and say that's too high so let's leave it at ten thousand and just preview so once you preview you're gonna hear it sounds all right so if it doesn't suit your fancy you can just decrease the frequency or you can also um increase or decrease this roll off you know to the octave you can choose any of this so once you choose any of that as you're making the changes you can go ahead and keep reviewing so as you're previewing you're hearing how it sounds even before you apply so this is just a very very sweet feature that audacity allows you so you just instead of just go ahead to click on apply so you can now preview to hear it sounds as you're making your changes and once you're done and once you've gotten what you want just go ahead and click on apply and you'll be good to go so this is pretty much how you can 
add the low pass filter to your voice audio on audacity you can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped you search